Hi guys, this is Banches, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. So sit back and relax and enjoy this episode. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Go down below, hit that subscribe button to my channel. If you guys have been here before, welcome back. I love having you guys. And if you guys love this video, go down below and smash that like button. So we are back with another episode of Transport Fever. And we have really grown out our empire, really gotten the industry up and running, and gotten a lot of uh, passenger lines um, up and profitable right now. So we are going really well. Um, you know, we're only in 1915, and we already have, we're making, you know, we have $20 million right now in the bank. Uh, we have no loans. Last year we made around $9 million in profits. So we are definitely, we're killing it right now. And um, definitely going forward, hopefully we'll continue to grow. Um, currently right now we are just on our oil line and our trains are right now just coming in here to get some oil, bringing it down to our other um, destinations to be dropped off in our major cities. But to zoom out and just to do a quick little recap for you guys, basically in our last episode we've kind of just really upgraded a lot of our lines by getting more passengers um, lines set up within major cities. Um, you know, adding more trains to the lines just to get the flow going quicker. And we also added uh, some uh, freight yards in here so we can actually start moving goods along these lines to really get that uh, moving for the future. Uh, we also extended over here to some other cities such as, I believe we extended over to here. And we also extended along to here and here. And just doing that kind of really brought together these lines together. And it's going to help grow this... Um, quickly as we move forward. We are currently waiting for the new newest locomotive. Oh, okay, well, there it is. So we just actually unlocked this locomotive. Um, we're gonna use this locomotive and upgrade all of our freight trains to it. Bit. This locomotive has a lot more power. Um, let's go to one of the sheds quickly here. I think I have one over here. Yeah, here's a, here's a depot. So if we go into here, our old trains were currently, they have about 952 horsepower. For our long freight trains, this is not powerful enough. We're getting very slow trains, um, and it's really hindering our ability to ramp up production. So this is 1,500 horsepower. That's definitely going to be enough power to pull the size and uh, trains that we have with all the loads. So we're going to be upgrading our lines to these trains just to get um, these lines moving and getting them more profitable. In addition to that, we're also today getting, finally, the stone set up and connecting um, to our construction materials, which are all the way over here, um, and getting this profitable. So the way that I've decided to do this is we're going to make it a multi-stop point. Uh, basically, this train will just be shipping back and forth rocks to, or stone to this uh, depot. And then on this main line here, we're going to have probably about six or seven freight trains. And those freight trains are going to be carrying stones um, and also food. And then we'll also have um, an area to put all the construction materials on. So there'll be three different cars, and those three different cars are going to go back and forth. The good part about this setup, we'll have stone going one way, picking up food, continuing on. When we get to the end of the line, we'll have then the construction material going onto this line here. And then that will be getting shipped back over this way. So there's always going to be constant flow of goods on this line. And the idea of doing that will hopefully it will boost our production and our profits. So let's go ahead and really start ramping this up right now. Um, I want to get this going so we can have a nice and successful uh, line here. I just want to quickly look at how our lines are producing and what's negative. So this passenger line is not running as efficiently as I would like. Main reason why is it's pretty spread out and it's just taking a while for trains to get to locations. Um, if you look here, why is this waiting? I gotta see here. What's going on here? So it looks like there's some kind of back up here. Let's see. Okay guys, I am back. I got this figured out here. The lines are now operating in the correct direction. Um, all the trains should run properly now and hopefully this will start boosting up. Um, crap. I had to leave that. I gotta replace this now. But hopefully this will start boosting up the uh, revenue. 
and boosting up revenues will then you know really help us grow these uh, lines and as you could tell there's massive amounts of people waiting here so the goal is to upgrade these trains too but for right now we are going to just keep moving along um like i said let's get to this stone line here the main thing that we need to do and the main thing we need to be concerned about i would say let's see there's a food line that's running here 31 how is this thing working making money it is making money okay so this food line is making money um we're gonna have to replace 31 so the way i'm gonna do this we're gonna have to just extend the line here so let's go currently it looks like it stops here so five and it comes back six and then it stops here so let's put after seven which is this station again it's going to go back into here which it says it's going to be an issue that's fine and then we're going to shoot it into this station here perfect so it's going to come out onto this line come over to here and then it's going to come back out so one thing that we need to do is make sure this is all hooked up properly and we got to get these set to the correct lines to be going on all right so there you go now this freight train will be running on the correct lines correct side and everything that we need um to get the demand for this situated we need to attach all the roads for this city um for this depot i didn't do that in the last episode so that's definitely one thing that we need to do here and just get everything all hooked up okay there we go and let's run this over just like that Perfect. So now we have that situated. And if I remember correctly, this one's also not hooked up. Yes. So let's just hook these up because otherwise it's going to start throwing some, uh, not errors, but the computer is just going to start being like, oh, you need to hook these up. And I'd rather just get this situated now. There we go. There. And we'll connect that like that. Perfect. So these are hooked up. We need to get over here some lines hooked up food. Let's go here. Perfect. And how is this looking here? So it looks like this is going to be most of the area we want to put some goods into. So how much is this going to run us? Usually the houses are the cheapest to delete. Yes. They are. There we go. Perfect. So that's in. And let's get some trucks in here. I'm gonna put two trucks for right now. And we're going from here to there. Good. So now the hopefully we'll start getting some demand for this location. And the one thing we need to do is find where this freight train is. I think here it is. Okay. So here's the freight train. So this train we're gonna upgrade because I think this is gonna be our best bet to go about this. And I wanna get as much materials on here as possible. So how big are these tracks? I can upgrade these estate depots one slot bigger. And just to make this as efficient as possible, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to upgrade all these stations. It's just going to take a couple minutes, so I'm going to do that. And I'll be back with you guys in a second once that's upgraded. Okay, guys. So I am back. I have upgraded this whole entire line. I've extended all the sta uh, stations in here for the freight trains. Um, and yeah, we are basically now ready to add the trains to this track. So what we are going to do is we're going to upgrade the line here. This train, like I said, is not going to be conducive for what we are trying to do here. So let's add this train here. We can get about, the total distance is about 1,000 feet, a little over 1,000 feet worth of uh, cars on here. So we're going to need this box car, we're going to need the state car, and then we're going to need the gondola. Those are the three vehicles uh, that we're going to need on here. So the first thing, let's add about one, two, three, four, five six seven we'll add seven box cars and then we're gonna go um let's go one two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven okay so we still have a little bit more room on here um we have two options we could add more gondolas and state cars or we could just add more food um for long distance hauling let's let's do more gondolas on this one let's go one two 
and then all right perfect so we can actually do eight of everything so if we do eight it looks like it gets it perfect so i'm just going to delete all this just to organize it perfectly because i'm ocd like that one two three four five six seven eight and then one two three four five six seven eight and then one two three four five six seven eight perfect so now we have this train set up perfectly how i want this train will cost 16 million dollars it looks like to build so if i replace this now technically it should probably be a little bit less because we're replacing a train that's already operating yeah so it's only going to cost nine million we are replacing this right now yes and let's play so now doing this we will have exactly what i'm hoping for which is multiple different cars on this line to move these goods now we need to get this stone manufacturing up and running and that's going to be simple enough we're going here and loading this thing up with just as many gondolas as possible we're going all out here guys we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight let's start with this so there's 20 gondolas on here that's going to be plenty for now um i don't think we're going to need too much more than that right now it's just a, a lot of stone so let's get this line set up so we're going to go from here all the way out to here that is our transportation line for this train so that's going to take a little bit to start growing some demand as you can tell but hey look this is our new freight locomotive it is definitely a pretty nice looking train okay yeah so we got this rolling out of our station here and this will go up and uh grab that stone for us like we're uh going to try to be moving forward with awesome okay so this train is like i said is way more powerful exactly what we are looking for um the next area that i really want to upgrade some freight trains on would probably be this line here um let's see how this shipping line is doing right now i probably need to get another freighter on here so let's do that just to try to cut down on some of this demand that's being backtracked here Okay, line 25, there we go. We got another oil tanker coming out onto this line. So this is going well, very well it looks like here. This freight train, how is this one doing? It's doing pretty decent. This train doesn't go up and down on too many hills. So it's slow, but it's, it's getting the job done for us for right now. This, I would much rather upgrade these trains, I think. Um... Yeah, I gotta see exactly how I wanna upgrade stuff here. Because, as you can tell here, there's a lot of food, a lot of passengers waiting. So I gotta kind of really strategize on what's the next upgrade. This is gonna be a probably decent amount of upgrades coming here. Like you can see, there's a lot of passengers waiting here. And we really need to start stemming that down. So, I think what we're gonna do here is try to make some of these passenger trains a little longer. 90 cars just doesn't seem like it's cutting it right now. Um, let's go into this line here. So what can we do here? This is working pretty decently. I think I was thinking I was going to go with this locomotive. One, two, three, four... I think it was eight I was going to add in here in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I think it was eight here. Let's see. Yep, that's, that's what I was thinking of upgrading these two. Maybe if I take out one for right now, that should be sufficient enough. Let's just get this replaced. Let's see how many we can do this with. 17 million. We don't have enough money to do that. So we're not replacing those right now. But the one thing I can do is get a bunch of signals out on this line here. Since now we're going to have more freight trains on here, it's going to be... Um, you're going to need more signals just to get these trains running efficiently um see it'll just allow the trains to keep moving so let's put more signals on these tracks here they're just really going to help move the trains closer together um exactly what i want how is this over here with stone okay this is actually not getting stone i know why i'm an idiot okay guys so the one thing i forgot to do was hook up this station right here so i need to put a freight station over here too um, and this freight station is going to also, again, allow us to get the trains all the way out here. 
But at the same time, we have trains then coming all the way out here. We'll also have um, a bunch of, hopefully, some uh, construction materials being put onto the line. So we got to really get this set up well in order to start driving the demand over at our other stations. Let's put this as far away as we possibly can. Here we go. Perfect. So that will be good there. And then this is going to have to go over to here. So let's get the roads. Good. And I'm going to go out a little bit further. And let's get these tracks situated here. This should be double tracked because we're going to eventually, like I said, connect this to our other cities. So let's do that just to prepare for the future. That goes onto that line. Perfect. This will come down to here. And once again, come out onto the main line. And let's get some signals in here just to keep things flowing properly. And we're going to put one also right. Uh, we need to put this will come in this way. And it's going to switch over. We'll just have it switch like that. And then we will have this go right there. Perfect. Okay. Now let's get this set up. As I mentioned earlier, we need to get some demand flowing. So this will go here. And just to, like I said, get the demand, let's get some of these road vehicles. And we're going to just put three of them on just for now. It's going to take a while for the train to get over here, and that's the way we need to do it. Obviously, this is not connected 100% right yet, but what I'm doing to connect it, we're going to put a tunnel underneath here. Let's see if this will work. Or a bridge will work, too. Tunnel? Nope. Looks like bridge it is. There we go. So let's do a stone bridge and connect that. There we go. So we have a bridge going across... Um, let's see if this line's hooked up. It is hooked up. There we go. We are good. So that should start getting that going. And the next thing we need to do is get the demand out of the back of this station, hooked into this line. Perfect. And perfect. All right, so that is good. Also, let's go to the line 33, so station number 5. So after station 5, we need to actually continue it out to here. There, track it back into that station. Cool. We have this route all hooked up now. Now we should start getting the demand that I've been hoping to get. So that will be good. We'll have to come back in a few minutes to make sure this is operating as efficiently as we possibly can. But in the meantime, let's try to cut down on some of the goods that are being stored. For example, we have a lot of goods that are being stored in these areas that we could transport, and especially on this line. It looks like we have a lot of goods that are weaving. So what can we do? We could upgrade also all these stations, but do we want to do that? This definitely needs another passenger train. I'll tell you that much for sure. So the one thing, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to leave the other line um, just to start growing some demand out. I'm going to upgrade all these stations again here, and we're going to upgrade the trains on this line. This is the line that I'm going to concentrate on right now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. And the thing we need to do now on this line is really upgrade these stations here. Um, like I just did, and we need to really bring these trains um, to the next level, which is basically upgrading the trains to the next locomotive. So let's get see how much this is going to cost us, because it's definitely going to cost us a decent amount of money. So if we go to line 24 and go to replace, we are going to also want to do the same train that we just did on the other lines. Um, but we'll, now we need to do is we need to mix this. So we're going to go, I think... Maybe 10 and 10. Yeah, 10 boxcars and 10 uh, tankers. Just because if we do 10 and 10 for now, we'll get the food on one end and we'll get the oil on the opposite end. That would be perfect. So let's get that. One, two, three, four, five, 10. And then here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
That's fine with me to start. Let's see how much this exactly is going to cost to replace. Seven million. We have the money. Let's do that. It will definitely get... Um, I think that's a little bit bigger than what we have currently. We have eight and nine. Man, it's two more cars. Maybe we're going to want to add a little bit more. Let's see here. No. So let's see. If I add some 10, let's just see. 11, 12. So I can add 12 in total on each of them. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add 12. Um, and doing 12 on each would definitely boost everything. All right, so let's do that. How much is this going to cost? $10 million. Let's do it. We're doing that. Replace. That's going to help us, like I said, increase the amount of goods that are going to be going back and forth on this line. Plus, this that train that is going to be on this line is a faster train than what this train currently is. So it will be able to carry more goods, um, and it will travel at a faster pace. So perfect, exactly what I want to do. This will get this line and all the demand kind of off of these trains. Um, and that will be very, very good. So this line 21, let's, we're going to have to start upgrading these. All right, we're going to have, we may have to borrow some money here just to get these lines operational. If we go into line 21, we might replace these also. So this is 8-6. Let's see, if I replaced all of these on this line... Let's do that. We're going to replace all of these on this line to upgrade these uh, vehicles. Hopefully that will get a little bit quicker production out of them, and they'll be able to carry a little bit more goods. So once again, that could be a good thing for us. Um, ugh, this is going to definitely be difficult. I'm running low on cash, and we definitely need to get this upgraded. Let's see here. Where are these trains? Okay, so this train's going into the station. It has nothing. That's fine right now. It's going to upgrade here. Boom, there we go. Upgraded the train. And it fits completely in that station. Perfect. All right, off it goes. That is good. I want to check on the stone production. Is this thing producing any stones yet? It is not. Why is this thing not producing any stone? This thing's just going to kill us right now, bleeding us money. Okay, guys, so we just went ahead. We are going to start cleaning up some of these lines here, getting this demand down. We just bought uh, or borrowed a bunch of money, and we have put another locomotive on the line. So we have another guy coming out here, and he is going to, um, yeah, basically get more food and more oil uh, moving on these lines, which is very important, like I mentioned earlier, to manage all of our supply chains here. Um, yeah, we got that going. I still can't figure out what's going on with the stone. Actually, 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 hang on. Oh, there we go. The stone is finally working. All right, good. So we actually have stone coming into these stations now. Um, so finally it realized and registered that there is actually a demand for the stone. Um, took a little bit, and I definitely wasted a few million dollars doing it, but at least now we will have some demand. We'll get stone into this station and onto these trains. All right. I'm moving back over here. That was the one thing I was worried about. But we have now this train coming into this station here. This will fill up with some more oil, or fuel, I should say. That's perfect because I need this fuel to get cleared out so I can then move more fuel into here and keep these, this line here moving as efficiently as possible to keep these trains moving. So, once again, this is all just kind of trying to keep supply chain functioning as best as possible. But yeah, we have this thing loading up pretty well. Nice. Let's see, how is that looking? Take as much oil as you can, man. I need it gone. Perfect. All right, so that's good. To combat that, and this also oversupply here, let's get some more road vehicles. Perfect. 
So that is good. We have that coming in here. We'll have more fuel coming into the station. And these trains, where's the next freight one? Oh, perfect. That freight one is leaving this station now. And it should be leaving, yep, with full amounts of food. Perfect. So yeah, we're definitely operating this pretty well and efficient. This train now is almost 100% full, which I upgraded this and made this a little longer to get more passengers on here to try to also stem down some of this demand that we have. Um, how are our boats going here? So our boat is also operating pretty good. I think, let's see. This is also almost full. All right, let's see if we can get another passenger boat on this line. All right, so I need to look what we can do here. This is another passenger boat. This is what we just had, 75. This is gonna be way too much, 500. I don't need that. And it's also way too expensive. We're gonna put, you know what I'm gonna do? We're upgrading this boat. Let's go to line 23, replace. And we are upgrading it to the next passenger ship. And let's replace now, yes. So the next time this ship comes into this harbor, we'll upgrade that and we'll have them the ability to carry a hundred passengers, which will be perfect. That's exactly what we need. Um, cut down some of that demand. We're cutting down some of this demand. We're really stemming down the demand right now and starting to grow um, our cities hopefully more organically. Um, and like I said, also just trying to move as many goods as possible in the amount of time we can. Um, Perfect. So this train's coming in here. Hopefully this will drop off some fuel. Let's see. Yep. Perfect. So that's dropping off fuel. These guys will start picking up fuel for us. Yeah. This over here. This is doing pretty efficient. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. Um, we do have a crazy amount of food here. So that's one thing I'm a little worried about. But it's okay. Oh man, we're getting such pile-ups. I kind of really want to get this food situated. Yeah. I'm going to get this food situated right now. Let's get that. And the one thing that I have not done yet that I really want to get situated also is a yard. So we need a freight yard where we can have our trains come in and out, switch out stuff, get it kind of more operating, uh, just a little bit more... Not efficiently even, but like just to get things um, a place where we can trade trains in and out, sell things if we need. Uh, we don't have one of those areas for this line. And I really like how this thing's set up. This looks really cool. It's like a turntable with a shed. So we have a bunch of different settings. We could select the number of tracks that we want going around it all the way up to 12. We have the number of sheds. We could put 12 sheds on here. Uh, numbers of rows left. Oh, so I bet you, you could do a, almost a full circle on this thing. You could. Huh. With probably full sheds. That would be very interesting. We're not doing that. That will not go for what I am hoping. But the one thing, we could do the 12 sheds. I think that will work okay. We'll do that. I want to see how this works. I have not placed this yet, so this will definitely be an interesting um, interesting plan. So there we go. We have 12 sheds down. And now I need to figure out how does the tracks come out from here. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right, so this is not how I want this to be set up. Let's delete this. <laughs> okay, so we need to do this again go to here and I want to do six with six sheds and then I want to do another six with six more sheds Perfect. that's how you need to set this up okay we're gonna place this the same place we had it before perfect and this now is going to come out to our main line this will come out just like that. 
And let's hook this back up. Probably something like that. And that's coming out like this. And this will also hook up like that. So there we go. Now we have a spot where we can have a turntable set up with um, a bunch of different houses if we want to put multiple trains out on this line. Um, I just think it looks kind of cool. Uh, you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this turnstile um, and what you think about it. If you guys like it, yeah, let me know. I definitely like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so let's get a train out here. I have 11 mil. I could definitely put a train out here. So let's pause this, and we want to get another freight train out here. Something that's going to cut down on this food. Um, and I think what we're going to do right now, just to try to cut down on it, we're just going to put a straight food train out here. Because um, we don't have enough stone buildup yet to really, I'd say, warrant the ability to add... What is it? Yeah, we don't have enough stones, basically, to say, like, okay, we want to put more hoppers or more gondolas and more state cars on here. It's more at this point where we need to get rid of this food. We need to move it uh, now while we still can. So let's add this to our main line here. And this should be line 31. And it's unable to find path. Okay. So this does not look like it works. Let's see, if I hit play here, 31, does not work. That's fine. So let's go sell this, pause. How does this, that's how I need to do it, probably. Can I turn it? I can. So let's see, if I go to six. I have no idea how this works. Uh, six? Nope. Seven. Nope. I don't know how this thing works. If you guys know how this works, let me know in the comments below. I think it's really cool, but I'd love to use it. But I currently have no idea how it works. So, just to keep moving forward, we are just going to keep adding trains via this way. Perfect. So we have the amount of trains we need, and now we can put it on the line. There we go. It is going to come out of this shed and go onto this line. There it is. Nice. That's pretty cool. Wow. Okay, cool stuff. And this train will go out onto this main line and really get uh, production moving. Okay, guys, I am back. I've let this run just a little bit. And we have our large freight train here coming in for the first time to pick up some food. So this should uh, definitely clear out a bunch of this demand that we have here, um, which is really, really good. We need to lower this down in order to keep this other freight train running profitably. So we're going to... Definitely start picking up a lot more food now. Um, as you can see, look at this. Full full load right here on this train. This train will definitely be able to handle the amount of weight with all this. So this is this is perfect. This is exactly what we really need. Um, but yeah, so this will then leave this station, come out to the other areas here. Um, and basically, it'll just continue along uh, the tracks. This train here now is going to continue out to this city now where we installed the line for our stone and this will pick up the stone from here and start bringing it over for the construction materials uh currently it's not running this line at least is not running as efficient as possible because um basically we don't have enough demand going because this will be the first time that this train is picking up this demand of stone so once this kind of starts operating more efficiently, we'll definitely be getting way better, um, we're getting more profits. So I'm just gonna let this keep running a little bit and I will be back with you guys again in a couple minutes. Okay guys, and I am back. So we have gone ahead and really 
cut down a lot on this freight line that we have going around here. I finally uh, lowered the amount of food we had built up. And now since that food is actually lowered, we can actually now finally upgrade and replace the trains that are in uh, the station here. Uh, basically, these trains are definitely been in here for a while and they could, I think these trains that are currently on here are probably over 40 years old and definitely needed to be upgraded. So I'm gonna replace all the trains in here uh, and just get the line kind of really operating as efficient as possible. So let's get the amount of cars we need on here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. If I replace this now, it's $27 million to replace this line. That's gonna be a lot of money. Do I really wanna spend that right now with this? Because I really need to start ramping this up. So let's just see, if I borrow more, I borrow up to 27, I can. So let's replace these trains, yes. So these trains are gonna be replaced in this station. Like I mentioned, they are super old. These trains and upgrading them will get more food flowing out from this area here down to our stations to get put back onto this freight line. Um, I've kind of wiped it all out, like I mentioned, because uh, I had the freight lines originally going around. Um, I had two trains that were completely just boxcars, so it really helped eliminate a lot of that food quickly. So doing this right now, we are going to see an increase probably in the amount of food again being built up here. But to combat that, we can go around the outside here and add more freight trains. So that is a good upgrade. The next upgrade that we are really going to need to do is upgrade this um, oil line here. Currently, these locomotives on here are struggling. Uh, the main reason why, if you go to the terrain here, you can see that there's um, a nice little uphill here. And also, this is on an uphill climb too. So when these trains are full, of oil, you can see they're not moving very fast because of this uphill climb that they have to make. So for this, we need to upgrade the locomotive on here. Uh, so if you go to line 20 and go to replace, I had it was we were gonna upgrade just to this, uh, the next level train. I was also debating on, I think upgrading it to this new train. So this would have a lot more traction effort uh, you can see this has 96,000 pounds of traffic uh, tr traction effort compared to this one has 51. The current one on the track only has 22. So that's pretty damn low. Um, that's the main reason why we're not really getting these trains up to speed quickly. This would definitely help substantially uh, get the train up to speed. And this one here would really just blow it out of the park. So I think for now we are going to keep it with this train to upgrade. Um, this is going to cost a decent amount of money also. So this is going to cost $16 million to upgrade this oil line here. So once we get to that $16 million, we will upgrade. It's just going to take a little bit to get there once again. Um, but yeah, this is still operating pretty well. Uh, all of our freight lines here are good. And we have substantial amounts of fuel in these stations. So definitely going to be... Uh, good for our trains and also you can see here we have a good amount of ample food I think this amount of food here okay it's not enough for a full line but we are trying to upgrade and keep these food lines flowing as effectively as possible they're starting to slow down um, which is not that great let me see here so we have nothing even on line four currently so line four is going down here also so I'm going to take all the vehicles probably off of line four. You can see nothing's on here, nothing, nothing, and nothing. So if we sell all the vehicles off of this line, let's just do that now. Sell, 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 and sell. We're going to just get all these vehicles off of this because there's no need to have them currently on this line. They're kind of useless. They're not getting any food from this depot. So we're going to get rid of line 4 and just keep line 17 operating. So that will be good. Hopefully that will also lower some of our overhead costs. Um, let's see what else we got here. I think that's what we're going to stick with for right now. So like I mentioned, we have a lot of the good upgrades going on here. Um, 
let's see, is this finally an upgraded locomotive? This is an upgraded locomotive. So you can see here, we've just upgraded this train and it is moving at a very good pace compared to what the other trains that were on this line. So we'll definitely be getting a lot more food coming down into our major cities. So good upgrade. I definitely think this is a good thing going forward. But um, for today, I think we are going to end this episode here. But just kind of show you guys the quick breakdown of how the profits are running right now. So in, let's see, 1927. We made a profit of $10 million, and we spent still $16 million on upgrading uh, or adding new vehicles to our line. So we are definitely making a good profit. In uh, 1928, we had a, a loss here because we upgraded um, these trains right here, and we also upgraded, I believe it was another line too. So that's why we had uh, $44 million worth of new trains being added. Um, and then we had end up operating at a loss. This current year, we are currently operating at profit, so that is good. We will hopefully continue on that path um, going forward. And like again, we are already up to $10 million. So we are running pretty good numbers, and I like how this is going. But um, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys like to see anything else, if you guys like to see different kind of assets, um, if you'd like to see some planes, I'm debating on bringing uh, some air travel into the game too, and I know that's pretty difficult to set up. So if you guys would like to see that, you know, comment down below, and I will definitely incorporate that into the next episode. Um, but yeah, also on top of that, we also have a giveaway going on for Transport Fever. So if you guys would go and like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys will be enrolled and entered into um, the giveaway to get a chance to win uh, Transport Fever. So, on that note, guys, my name is Banches. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.